Hello, Terry here from webdesigndublin.org. This video I'm just going to show you how to create a podcast for free. So, what is a podcast? Well, a podcast is simply an RSS feed with audio or video files attached to each post. Podcast is a great way to allow visitors or subscribers to your website to listen to all of your audio content or watch all of your videos in one place but it also allows people who may be busy and if you have plenty of audio recordings on your site they can download them and they can listen to them on their iPods or on their phones or as they drive to work or as they commute uh, they can watch the videos as they commute on you know public transport or listen to it in their car or stereo as they drive to work so that's basically a podcast and it's an essentially an alternative form of representation of your content uh, from your site and it's a good way to get new readers and new backlinks. It gets new backlinks for you because once you create your podcast you can submit it to great podcast directories, the most famous of which is iTunes and I'll show you how to do that just in a minute but what you end up with is a great variety of backlinks to your site from many many different sites across the internet podcast directories and it's quite likely that your competition in your market whatever that market is is not using podcasts uh, and not using podcast directories to obtain backlinks and the variety of backlinks from high quality websites such as podcast directories will improve your site's ranking in the search engines. Let's just take a look now at how to make a podcast for free. The first thing you need to do is to set up a Blogger blog. Blogger is owned by Google and to allow you to set up a free website or blog on their uh, platform. This is mine, Web Design Dublin video podcast. But go to Blogger, and if you have a Gmail account, you can freely set up a Blogger blog in like two minutes. The one thing that you need to do though for your podcast is you need to come to settings, you need to scroll down to the. Or is it at all? Oh, sorry, yeah. You go to settings and you go to formatting. You scroll down and this particular one here, show link fields, that will have a no in it. Make sure to change that to yes. Okay, so show link fields, change it to yes. I'll show you then, if you take any post on this blogger blog, um, you'll see that you put your title of your podcast uh, episode in here you put a link then to the audio file or video file that you have uh, stored on the internet either on your website's servers or perhaps at uh, Amazon S3 which is a very good uh, storage service for, for big files. So you put the link to the particular episode, the MP3 or MP4 in here but you also most importantly put it in here because this then attaches the audio or video file to your post. Make sure to stick in some notes here just sort of show notes as to what your episode is about and then I'll just show you what uh, it looks like then uh, if we go to Web Design Dublin video podcast uh, Now if you take any particular uh, episode or post on this site, you see all of these different posts or site on, on the blogger blog. If you click on a title, because you've attached the audio file, it automatically, as you can see, uh, gives you the opportunity to either watch it, the episode, or save it to your desktop. Uh, and that's the case for each of the posts, each of the episodes 
in your blogger blog. So that's essentially what a podcast is. So each post has the audio or video file attached to it. You then can go down or go up here and get the feed for the site, which is, let's go to the home page. If you scroll down to the very bottom here and you see subscribe to posts, Atom. You just click on that. And this is actually the feed from this site. And you can see that each post has the MP4 or MP3 or whatever video or audio file attached to it. And your subscriber can then download it or watch it or whatever. And they can read then the source notes, the page notes um, about each particular episode. What you do then is you take the feed address, which is up here in the browser bar, and you head over to FeedBurner.